After the recent dip in all trigger, we wanted to take a closer look at the company to see if it's a pretty good entry point or not right now. So, Ultra Group has the stock tipper MO from the old Philip Morris brand. So they manufacture and sell smokable and oil tobacco products in the United States. The company provides cigarettes primarily on the Marlboro brand, pipe tobacco on the Black Mile, and other related products. Over the last year, they are down a total of minus 2.48% at the time of recording. As you can see here in the end, around June, they had a pretty huge dip from 54 to 49. That is based on it got a bit of a downgrade. It has a market cap of $89.60 billion and a share price at the time of recording of 48.6. It trades at a forward PE ratio of 10.20, so that is a check. And the average 5-year PE ratio is 12.62, so it's 19% below, which could indicate it being undervalued right now. It does have revenue growth over the last five years, even though it's, it's kind of weak, but still it is revenue growth. The profit margin is above the 10% thresholds at 11.7. The net income isn't growing though, and they are doing share buybacks. They have reduced the shares uh, number of shares outstanding by 4.2% over the last five years. And at the current share price, they have a very, very, very good yield at 7.27%. The payout ratio is 76.39%, and I've put a little star here that I will get back to later, but in here it is a negative, yeah? Dividend growth rate is a very nice 8.25%, and the dividend growth history is for the last consecutive 14 years. So the dividend per share is increasing. They do also have free cash flow growth over the last five years, and their long-term liabilities are coverable by five years of free cash flow. They can do it in 4.4 years. And the price to free cash flow, uh, I like it to be below 15 to 20% and it's at 12.16, so that's really good. And it looks like it has a quite okay fair value versus the free cash flow. So the verdict here is 12 checks out of 14 and it's I would say it's actually 13 out of 14. And that is because they do have a policy of 80% of uh, their earnings should be paid out as dividends. So even though I have a 60% th uh, threshold, in this case, I think it would be okay because it is something they aim to do. And I believe based on the free cash flow that it's being 10 to 15% undervalued right now. But if you want to go into this kind of market, you need to do your due diligence, of course, but because it is a very heavily regulated market and we still don't know the effect of Philip Morris uh, match acquisition that has been done very recent. So thank you so much for watching guys and if you did enjoy the video please subscribe to the channel for more content in the future and like this video it helps me out ever so much and i will be seeing you in the next video bye